All right. So, well, that's resentment and grievance, resentment and grievance, uh, um, resentment and grievance. Um, so I'll kind of mix it together, resentment, grievance, and obsession. So it's like, that can happen. Like if, if I have, if I make somebody special, if I like this girl a lot and I think she's really, really special and then she doesn't behave the way I want her to behave, and it can be like really obsessive anger, like she should behave that way and she's behaving this way and it becomes very charged. Um, and so, um, one, you know, for me, the, the main thing then, you know, when there is, you know, like addiction to a person is like that person is so special. I mean, in the 12-step groups, we call it love addiction. Um, or you could call it dependency, or you could call it, uh, of course, it would call it uh, specialness. Um, or uh, in the 12 step groups you might say making a person your higher power <clears throat> whatever method you want to use so I have history of doing that as well um, that requires a lot of work because when the ego puts in so much energy into making somebody special to undo that requires a lot of intensive work now generally speaking I mean it depends if there's any feelings associated like there could be if it's anger, if there's a strong feeling of anger or a strong feeling of desire or whatever it is, those can be felt out with the field of feelings. So don't make a story about the anger and just sit with the anger and feel it out and feel it out. It'll come in waves and just sit them out, feel the anger out. In terms of the um, thinking and the, the obsession or the resentment or the grievance, uh, the, what I do, because when you have something obsessive, it means this extreme intensity. It means there's, you know, it, it, those are some of the most difficult ones to clear. I mean, something that's quite mild is quite easy to clear. Uh, with a few prayers, you're free of it. But something very intensive, like a family member or a romantic partner or, or something, that, and, and they're not behaving the way, then that can be quite extreme. and bring up very extreme uh, obsessive thoughts or resentment thoughts or grievance thoughts. So for me, um, one tool is intense prayer. Uh, intense prayer can do it. Um, so I've used it, you want to, you know, one of the ways to use prayer, you know, like putting things into God's infinite light and love and praying for miracles and transcendence, is you want to find, and I agree with the Course in Miracles on this, you want to be specific. You know, remember that Lesson 14 of A Course in Miracles says, don't be general, don't say God did not create illness, it's not real, be specific. Like God did not create testicular cancer or uh, God, did, you know, God did not create high uric acid levels or heart palpitations or so you'll have what I call the sub belief systems now with a person it's not really medical what you ha what you have is like uh, so with a person it would be like <clears throat> uh, all the things so they're there it could be something they said some way they didn't behave. It could be their facial expressions, their vocal tone. So you're, you're compartmentalizing all the specifics that you don't like with that situation. And then you're, um, for me, you're, you're asking the Holy Spirit to delete that. You know, so with, with Dr. Hugh Len, what you're doing is you're clearing the data. So you can do that. So I would have a list like, you know, uh, I try and make up a thing. So. <clears throat> Like it could be um, uh, whatever the example is, because as soon as a person starts speaking, you can hear their belief systems. I'm angry at this person because they said this and they they shouted at me and they never listened to me. And then you've got to like those are all the different things that you've got to like pray and release. I remember with my mother when I was trying to transcend my mother, it'd be like her facial expressions, her vo her voice tone, um, the meaning of the word mother. Um, but they can equally go for a romantic partner or whatever it is. So you clear that, feel the feelings out. I always have an, set an intention for transcendence. So to transcend something means that it will no longer affect you. You want to wash it out of your consciousness 100%. So you no longer track it or hold a story about it. So, um, and then whatever, whatever is showing up on a daily basis, that will give you the information of how you need to adjust, how you're working on it. Praying for, I pray for a miracle to see 
her facial expression differently. I pray for a miracle to see uh, her, her tendency not to listen to me differently. I pray for a miracle uh, to see my anger differently. I place, uh, I place my obsessive thoughts about X into God's infinite light and love and I pray for miracles and transcendence. Um, if you've got spiritual mentors, speak to them so that you can get a different perception on how to let it go. Um, if, you, if you're in 12-step groups doing spiritual inventory, running it through the columns and seeing uh, what's my part in it or how did I set it up or uh, one of the things in 12-step tw in inventory is self-seeking. How am I projecting my sense of self into this situation, making it my God? Oh, I've given her the power of my sense of worth by projecting that onto her. So uh, that's not her problem, that's my problem, that I'm doing that to, to, to make her that way. So, and uh, when it's obsessive, it's just like intensive work and prayer and feeling the feelings and the observer. Uh, the observer is more hard to do with obsession because it's so hard work, but you can also do it, sometimes does work. Mm -hmm. So, um, so those are the things, and your own experience will tell you. But generally speaking, obsession is one of the worst things because it blocks your consciousness because it's coming yeah. into, it's coming. That's okay. It's just a repeating thought that's coming in over and over again. So you want to like do a lot of work in in releasing that block to presence. Mm.